since I had a request from a teacher who wanted to record her voice onto the computer and then burn that voice recording onto a CD. So here's how you do it. First thing you wanna do is come down here to your start menu or your start bar and click on the start menu. And the start menu, you'll see all programs. Just click on all programs and then look for the folder that says accessories. Inside the accessories folder, you'll find a program called Sound Recorder. Click on that and you'll get a small program that opens up that can record your voice. At this point, you should see the green bar bouncing like mine is as I'm recording my voice. Even though I haven't hit start recording yet, um, my microphone is live and active and that tells me everything's working correctly for the audio. If you do not see that, then you will need to go into your sound settings and make sure that your microphone is turned on and turned up. I'm using the microphone that's in my laptop uh, built in and the sound quality is not great, but it might at least do the job. If you want a better recording, you might get an external microphone that you can plug into uh, the headphone microphone jack on the right side of the computer. If you don't see this green bar popping up and down, then just come down to your start menu again. Come over here and click on control panel. Find hardware and sound and click on that. And then under sound, look for manage audio devices and click on it. Up at the top here, you'll see a tab called recording. Click on that. And then come down and click on microphone. Now you can see over here, I also have green bars jumping up and down saying that my microphone is active and is hot. If you do not see that, then come down here and click on properties. Come up on top and look for the tab that says levels. And make sure that this right here is turned up. This is your microphone level. Um, sometimes it might be turned all the way down or in the middle and you might not be getting enough volume. You can turn that up. If this is still not enough, you might try turning up this microphone boost. And that may give you a little bit extra volume. When that's all set, go ahead and click OK, click OK again, and close out the control panel. Assuming that you have your microphone working correctly and you see the bar bouncing here, you're now ready to start recording your file. Once you're ready, just hit Start Recording. You'll notice that the seconds start counting up, showing you how long your recording is. And when you've finished your recording, you simply hit Stop. A window will pop up and ask you where you want to save the file. I'm going to click desktop and I'm going to call it story. Click the save button and you'll notice that the file pops up on your desktop. That's how you record onto a file onto your computer and now we're ready to burn it onto a CD. You can close sound recorder or you can keep it open if you have more files to burn or excuse me more files to record before you're ready to burn. Once you're ready to burn, come back down to start menu. Go up to all program, click on all programs and then look for up near the top of the list, look for your media player, Windows Media Player. I like to line the files up so I can see them outside of the media player. Over here, you'll see a play, a burn, and a sync tab. Click burn. If you haven't already inserted a blank CD, you'll see a message that says that you need to insert a blank CD. I don't have one with me right now, so I can't do that. But once you insert it, you'll see a message that probably a message that will tell you how much space you have on that CD. Under here is our burn list. This is the items. These are the items that are going to be burned onto the disk. Notice I don't have any here until I drag my story in there. So now I have a 14 second, I'm sorry, an 11 second file called story, and it's gonna burn onto the CD as soon as I come up here and click start burn. Notice I get a pop-up that says, please insert your blank disc, and it'll start automatically once you do so. If I had a blank disc right now, I'd put it in my CD drawer, close it, and it would start burning automatically. If I had already had it in there beforehand, I wouldn't have gotten this pop-up, it just would have started. When the CD burning is finished, 
uh, likely the drawer will pop open and tell you that it's done. And you may want to check the CD in a regular CD player, not in the computer, to make sure that it works correctly. I hope this helps. And thanks a lot.